Hi, my name is Julio Casal, and in this video I will show you how to use uh, user stories to identify the main requirements that will drive your application. Remember that I am using the beta 2 of Visual Studio 2010 client and Visual Studio 2010 Team Foundation server. Okay, so, so far you have already created your new team project. In this case we call it, it Bookstore. And now you have to state the requirements that will drive your application. For that, we use what we call user stories. This is very uh, popular in the Scrum uh, process template, which is the one that we're using right now. So what, what is the user story? It is no more than uh, a way to document your requirements, paying some uh, particular attention to the end user's point of view. So <clears throat> this will state the requirements uh, the way that the end user expects to the the application to behave. So where should we put these user stories? We use for this what we call the product backlog, which is no more than a list of all the user stories that drive your application. Where would, can you find that uh, product backlog? You can go to Team Explorer, enter documents and share documents, okay, which is actually a document a library of your SharePoint project portal. You can see here, this is the product backlog. Or you can also go to the to your uh, project portal. Okay, if you go to share documents, you can see here this is the product backlog. Okay, uh, this could be a, a, a good way to to access the product backlog if you don't have the Visual Studio installed in your computer. So let's open the product backlog. And remember, we are using a, a bookstore scenario. So what we want is to uh, be able to somehow uh, manage a, um, a list of, of books that could be able to be sold in the bookstore. Okay. So um, what we have to do is first state which are these user stories. So I just talked about three possible user stories. We'll write right now. Okay, so first one will be, as a customer, I want to see a list of all available books. Okay, another one, as a bookstore administrator, I want to add a new book. So let's add a final one, let's call this as a salesman, I want to sell a book. Okay, good. We now have the three user stories. And what we should do uh, right now is to set some priorities to these user stories. Okay, this is a common practice to, that will help you to also always uh, focus on the most important uh, user stories for your application. So, from my point of view, uh, the most important thing here is that the user can see the list of books and that the salesman can actually sell a book. So let's put uh, priority one for both these user stories, and let's just use priority two for the last, for the third one. Now, uh, now that you have priorities, you should have some um, estimation for the size of your user stories. You know, this will help you. Um, on estimating um, how much work can be done in each uh, product uh, cycle, which we call sprints in the Scrum process. So you will usually have a sprints of two or at most three weeks when you have to deliver a new version of your product. So how can you know how much work can be done in each sprint? You will use what we call story points. And story points is a measure of the amount of work or the amount of complexity in each user story. So now having these three user stories, I will uh, estimate that the first one, the customer wants to see the list of available books, is not really too much complicated. So let's add, uh, put two story points for that one. The next one, uh, I want to add a new book. Well, you have to do some insertions in the database. So let's give a little bit more complexity to this one. And the last one, the salesman uh, wants to sell a book, might include some other complexities. So let's say five for this user story, okay? 
So uh, if this was like a, a big project, you might say, okay, I have time for uh, five story points in each sprint. So you might say, okay, let's develop uh, these two ones first, and let's and then this one in this next sprint. Okay, five story points and five here. Okay, or any other way. Okay, so um, now that we have this, we should state in which iteration or which sprint we want to develop uh, this user story. So if we open this uh, iteration path cell, we can see that we already have uh, stated the three iterations for this uh, application. Okay, this is the default. You can also add new, more iterations from the Ding Explorer. So let's say we will uh, create, uh, uh, develop all these requirements in iteration one. Okay, and another uh, important thing, we should state which kind of work item is this. Okay, as we already know, these are user stories. So let's just put user story for each of them. Of them. So having this, the only thing that we should do right now is to publish these new, these three new user stories, which are work items, to Team Foundation server. So let's, uh, you should go to the Team uh, tab in your in Excel and then click Publish. What this will do is to publish uh, each each of the three work items to Team Foundation Server, which I already did. And if now you go back to Visual Studio, you can go to um, okay. Let's close this. Let's go to work items, team queries, and let's open user stories. Okay, you see, we now have the three user stories ready to start uh, working from here. So now. Um, once you have the user stories stated, you should uh, also create the developer or the team's tasks that will give more uh, detail to what has to be done in order to um, build uh, the, the specifications, the, the product to accomplish with these user stories. So in order to do that, we can, for example, let's go for the, for the first one. As a customer, I want to see a list of all available books. So in order to create tasks for this user story, we will right click here and let's say new linked work item. We will create a child work item, the kind of a, a task work item. And let's say that in order to do this, we will have to build the book list screen, okay, which is will be our first task. And let's go back and add another one. Let's say that um, we will have to test the book list screen. Okay, the book list screen will be a screen. We will see the list of all the these books. Okay, let's hit OK. And let's, uh, of course, you can also state several oral details on each of these tasks. Okay, um, for now, let's just save all them. And we're done. So right now you have at least uh, you have all the user stories uh, that uh, involve are involved in your system and the tasks. So that will be all for this uh, video. And hopefully in the next video we can start uh, writing some code. See you soon.